Hey YouTube, Spades back again, and um, I'm just going to go over a few things that I got at the flea market today. Um, I think I got a pretty good deal going on. Um, first off, I basically I got a bunch of worthless games, um, whether it be NES games that I got out of um, uh, lots on Craigslist, or a bunch of crappy sports games on the PS2 and the GameCube. Basically, I took 15 um, sports games, most of them for the, for the GameCube, some for the uh, PS2. Um, they're probably like a buck a piece, and that's actually what I got for them. I also got, um, I took about 10 NES games, and I, I got like 8 bucks for them. And then I also took um, all the games that I found in the dumpster with my GameStop dumpster dive. Uh, and if you haven't seen my dumpster dive video, you can check out the first one right here. I'll put an annotation right there. Check that out. Um, it's really cool. And then, so I took all those games I found in the dumpster, plus some of the uh, Max Payne strategy guides, and I traded it all to this guy at the flea market, and I traded it straight up for Mario Kart Double Dash for the GameCube, and Resident Evil Code Veronica for the GameCube. And I'm actually selling both of these. Um, I'm, I'm, I always post on Craigslist first, and then I hit up eBay after that. Um, I got both of these in my collection already complete, so I am selling both of those. Um, and I'll put a link in the description on uh, my current stuff that I'm selling on eBay, so you can check those out. And then I also got um, F-Zero GX complete in the box for five bucks. The guy had a bunch of games that I was really hoping I could find another game or two to bundle it in to maybe get them dropped down to four bucks each. But this is really all he had that was worthwhile. So um, this is actually going in my collection because believe it or not, I don't have this in my collection yet. And it's in really nice shape. So that's going in my collection. Um, I also got some uh, N64 games. Let me grab those right here. And uh, the guy really wasn't sure what he wanted to sell them for because he didn't remember what he bought them for. Um, so he kind of just went on a, a whim and gave me a price off the top of his head. And for me, it was a good enough price, so I picked him up. I got Bomberman 64, and I got... Yoshi's Island for the N64. I got both of these games for five bucks each, a total of ten bucks. Each game is worth about 13, 14 bucks, so I can't complain. That was a really good deal. Um, these are going to my collection as well. And the uh, pride and joy of the um, flea market visit, I took my copy of Madden 13 for the Xbox 360 and traded that in while it still had some value. Because believe it or not, I checked out the value of Madden 12 and it's already down to like seven bucks. Sports games just cannot keep their value. Um, like 98% of them don't keep their value. You'll have the one, you know, for some rare occasion has value. Like uh, the NCAA College Basketball 2K3 on the GameCube that I sold. Uh, you know, and there's just a few other games. I know um, one of the 2K9 games for the Xbox is pretty rare. So there are a few rare, valuable sports games, but like 98% of them don't retain their value. They come out with a new one every year, and it's just hard. So I got 22 bucks for my Madden 13 on the Xbox 360. And I, with that $22 trading credit, I also threw in another $38 for a total of $60 and got this, a factory sealed copy of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. And unlike Madden 13, this will at least retain its value, if not go up. So I took that. And I ran with that opportunity when I had the chance. So that is uh, it for my uh, flea market video. I'm going to try to do a, uh, a collection video here real soon. 
Like I said, um, I'm just trying to build up my collection so y'all have something nice to watch and uh, go back and check out all my other videos. Please like uh, the video, leave a comment, subscribe. I really appreciate it. See y'all later. Peace.